What was the most painful accident that you have ever been involved in? You want to know how I got this scar? Well, I will tell you one thing. It does not involve a moving car at a high speed. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it actually does. This story took place at the end of the ninth grade. It was around the time we were writing our final exams, right? So everybody was excited to go home to do their various things. By various things, I'm not talking about them going to revise, okay? <laughs> no, 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 no. My, my viewer, my sweet, sweet viewer. Closing schools after the grade 9 examinations means we have to get home and kick back back and relax my g and of course by relax i'm talking spending three hours a day seven days in a week 30 days in a month jerking off to some bbw <laughs> um um i think that was a cough was it yeah yeah it was so we're just getting done with writing the last paper of the grade 9 examinations right and then once we're done everybody was so psyched my g the whole school was excited everybody was just willing to go home and finally say Greed 9 forever. At the end of the paper, I hopped onto my bicycle and then started cycling through the school, right? And just to give you a context of the story, this is how Parkland Secondary School looks, right? It's a steep hill, my G. It's not a landscape school, right? This is a steep school which means if you're riding a bicycle down the school towards where the gate is the speed of the bicycle increases to a level that can only be described as dangerous so i'm moving down the steep hill right i'm full of excitement i'm full of adrenaline yes i've finally written the grade 9 examinations now it's time to go home kick back and relax i'm coming down the hill right and then as i'm coming down the hill guess what comes through the gate a f***ing car now of course i didn't panic the moment i saw the car because what i had in mind is i had brakes on this bicycle which were working and if you've used the bicycle before you would know that to stop a bicycle on a steep hill you need to apply the brakes that are applied to the back of the wheel if you apply to the front you already know what's gonna happen bro so there i go droopy eyed right i'm full of myself right now you feel me i'm just thinking the moment i pull this brake the bicycle can stop pull up to the side let this car pass and i can go home to continue that hang so you feel me but little did i know life is a bitch so i even get closer to the car right and just as i was about to reach it i slowly apply the brakes that are a sink to the back bro they are not working <laughs> i began to panic at this point in time i had tried almost everything that would guarantee the bicycle to stop i even put my feet down to try to stop using friction using my shoes my g the only option left at this point was the front brake so without wasting much time i apply the front brake and then the bicycle tumbles over a stone and then from there the car that was moving towards me hit the front tire of the bicycle sending it three to seven meters away from the car and at the same time sending me about five meters away from the car which means we fell opposite directions i fell into a drainage and i couldn't feel anything a few minutes later i woke up and the first thing i was thinking about is yo where the hell is my bike people i didn't even put into consideration that i almost died i woke up to a crowd of a crowd of a crowd of merciful faces you feel me they were feeling pity for me and then i just woke up to ask where my bike is one of the people who was standing among the crowd told me that my bicycle was apparently taken by somebody to be driven around by the market. How dare this nigga! Oh, he had another thing coming. Limping, I frantically start to walk to the direction of the market where my bike was apparently being driven. And as I got there, there he was. He was coming down with my bicycle, bro. He was coming down with my bicycle from a steep hill. He was riding my bike. And then... I yelled at him, yo, what is this? How dare you get my bicycle without permission, dog? I finna slap you. How would you do this, my nigga? You were raising my child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. George, George, don't, don't provoke me, man. Just don't. And there I headed off, offended, wounded, in pain, and sore. And as I was about to get home, I noticed something. 
there was some blood dripping from my hand. I looked toward where the blood was coming from and oh my god. This is the biggest gashing wound that I have ever darn given myself. This wound was so big, I think I think I could see my my skeleton my bone and from there every memory after that is in fact pretty much a blur this story is not fake i think i think i actually still have the wound right now let's check it out right here it is you see there it goes running from here all the way up to right there so yeah there you go of course in this story there is a moral about moderation of excitement but first of all let me just remove this right here it's 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 bullshit yeah, let me just, uh, uh, yeah, much, much better. Okay, okay, so as I was saying, the moral of the story has to do with moderation of excitement because if I was less excited about writing my grade 9 examinations, I would have not even been hurt that day and only put into consideration that I was hurt. Let's also look at the fact that I almost died, <laughs> I almost died. In the story, I tried so hard to actually stay away from the fact that I was actually hurt. My excitement actually almost cost me my life. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a screw up. I always have been and kinda always will be. Yeah, so. Moral of the story, if you're excited about something, right? We all get excited, you know, I get guessed sometimes, people get guessed, even the most serious people get guess time to time but it's not an excuse to just throw away everything just goes oh i'm excited about this oh i'm excited about that sometimes you also have to look at the bright sides of life you feel me you have to be around to enjoy those things that you're excited about you know what i'm saying so more of the story is don't get too excited because i've heard from a wise man a wise man once told me happiness poops sadness Howdy, howdy fam, it's your boy Color Luca Animations. Thanks so much for watching this video to the end. And if you like this video, man, don't forget to drop me this thing right here. You feel me? It's just right down there. You know, subscribe to my channel. It's just under my finger right here. Not not the one which you'll see flying right here. Like this one right here. I, I, so thanks so much for watching the video to the end, guys. Uh, if you like or maybe you have some constructive criticism of how I can improve my videos, make sure you drop it in the comment section, which is down below. If you want to see other videos, you can check it out on my channel. You know, watch more of my videos if you like them and, you know, support your boy. Thanks so much for watching this video, gang.